How do we log readings on the Fluke 289? There's a lot of times when you might want to log the data over time to troubleshoot an intermittent problem or produce a report to, s to document exactly what the voltages, the currents, anything are. So any of the functions you see on this, we can actually record over time using the record feature that's inside the Fluke 289. To access this, I simply hit the Save key, and what this it brings up the record menu where I can either save one piece of data with a time and a date stamp, or I can record over time. If I highlight the record and hit record, it asks me to set both how long do I want to record, in this case it says two hours, and how frequent do I want to take a measurement. I can take a reading every minute. Right now I'm going to take a reading every second just so we have something to look at. Once that's set up, we hit start, and now it's starting to record. Now there's two pieces of data it's actually recording. It's looking for both the interval samples, where it's taking a reading every second, and then there's also events, where if something happens outside the norm, this will be recorded as an event. So we actually have two different data points going at the same time, one for high-speed events and one for whatever timed cycling we said. Once we hit stop, we have the option to save this as a data record, but we can actually trend it right here on the meter itself so we can see if there was any sort of events or dropouts without having to download this to a PC. If we wanted to download it into the FlukeView software, we simply hit the Save key. That will save the record. There are built-in names, so if you wanted to uh, put a name on that data, these are eight predefined names that you can use to name that data so you can differentiate it later. And then once it's saved, we can simply download this into the FlukeView software. So that's the uh, simple and easy way for you to be able to log readings with your Fluke 289.